We are just Adoi. about to challenge the mm. Sungai Tembeleng Gorge. Mm. The journey upstream mm. usually takes about mm. 45 minutes. And in this rough water, we prepared to get drenched. Mm. This boat must negotiate mm. seven sets mm. of mm. rough mm. rapids mm. in this steep river terrain before reaching the <laughs> ranger's post at Kuala Terengganu. Balance. Ayak jetek, John. Main jeram. Lebih awal belakang. Okay, kami semua on the way ke jeram. John, dekat kamera. Lepas, lepas. Hello, silakan. Okay. Bye. Rapid shooting boat ride is one of the best activity in Taman Negara. This full of excitement and fun activity starts from Kuala Tahan JT to Kuala Terengganu and vice versa. The ride gets more exciting, especially during the dry season, when the water level is at its lowest between February to April. The boatman has to skillfully maneuver his way in between the submerged rocks in the riverbed. Sometimes your boat may get stuck on the rock at the bottom of the river where the water level is low. Don't be afraid, this is normal. You won't get stuck there forever. It just needs a little push and your boat will be back on action. For safety reasons, everyone are required to put on their life jacket throughout this activity. Be prepared to get wet. And as you can see, just on the opposite bank on the left of this Sungai Tembeling is the protected area of the National Park or Taman Negara in Kuala Tahan. It is believed to have formed about 130 million years ago that houses a diverse terrestrial ecosystem which contain a vast number of floras and fauna, many of which are endemic, rare, endangered and vulnerable. Its habitats range from mountain to lowland forests, with most of the birds found in the lowland forests of Kuala Tahan and Kuala Terengganu. With about 380 bird species, the park arguably has the highest number of birds of any forest area in Peninsula Malaysia. Look out for hornbills and fresh eagle along the way. Long-tailed macaque and monitor lizards may also be seen. This national park is considered as one of the richest areas in terms of plant species and genetic diversity and hosts more than 3,000 species of plant. The fern flora alone are well endowed with more than 246 species in 26 families. In terms of biodiversity of fauna, 
as National Park holds the largest population of animals that consists of 150 species of animal, including Asian elephant, Malayan tiger, clouded leopard, Malayan gore, Malayan tape, parking deer, samba deer, mouse deer, Malayan sun bear, sero, and many others. On the return trip, we stopped by to visit an orang asli or Aborigine settlement at Kampung Dedari along the embankment of Sungai Tembeling. This community are from the Batik tribe, one of the sub-ethnic of the Negritos, living in the National Park rainforests of Pahang and Kelantan. In general, they are gentle folk with dark skin and tight curly hairs and still practices their animistic beliefs. During our visit to their village, the Tok Batin Sena, who is the village headman, demonstrates how to use their bamboo hunting blowpipe and traditional fire making. Fire embers are generated through the friction between the rattan vine and the maranti stick. They still lived a nomadic lifestyle and preferred to relocate to new location when their surrounding food sources has depleted or after any death in the community or after any disease epidemic. The men hunts and gather food from the jungle using their blowpipe to shoot down monkeys, birds and other mammals <laughs> while the woman prepares the food and <laughs> care for the young. <laughs> the Batik people have their own language but they also speak Malay. <laughs> they live in small shelters which are made of wood and woven palm leaves. Their habitation are simple, palm test shelter, one for each family group, with several families usually staying together in one community. Normally, their simple tesh huts do not have any rooms or doors. Although the Batik people are actually hunter-gatherers and nomadic, this village community of Kampung Dedari has now settled down and survived on tourism. It has become one of the tourist destinations in Taman Negara. Geologically, the national park consists of diverse rock formation. The sedimentary rock consists of sandstone, shale, and limestone, tectonically belonging to the central and eastern belt of Peninsula Malaysia. The Gunung Tahan is situated on the Tahan mountain range, which were formed by Jurassic, Cretaceous, and sandstone and quartzites. Yeah. 
This Tamanagara is also fishing paradise for anglers. The park authority permits Sungai Tembeling and Sungai Keniam for fishing. Fishing net, poisoning, electric currents and etc. are strictly prohibited and illegal. Among the popular catches in Taman Negara are Kelah, Patin, Bau, Gohok, Tenggalan, Lampam, Kerai and Tapah. Best fishing months are during drier months in February to September of the year. The fish most commonly caught are the sabarau and the kalah. Both are from the cubs family. Also often is the toman or snakehead. A total of 479 species of birds has been recorded. During the fruit season, usually from May to August, Many bird species can be found feeding on fig trees around the park headquarters. They include the thick bill pigeon, rhinoceros hornbill, blue-eared barbet, Asian fairy bluebird, blue-winged leafbird, green potbill, and the yellow vented flowerpecker. The six species of pheasant found here includes the crested and crestless fireback pheasant, Malaysian peacock, as well as the crested argus pheasant. We finally return to our very relaxing resort at Mat Leon village for the night. Thank you.